Alright, so we've been kind of avoiding this one character. Hey, what's going on ladies and gents? Welcome back to another Genshin Pack video. I want to talk about Electro Traveler. Electro Traveler looks to be really cool. Um, if you guys haven't seen the trailer already, I suggest you do so. He looks really cool for the sense that it is Electro. <laughs> and he looks to be useful. If you guys haven't seen the trailer, um... If, if you do see the trailer right now, at the end of it, you kind of get to see a glimpse of what the Electro Traveler sort of does in a sense, um, but not to that extent, right? But it looks really cool how the way he glows purple, or she glows purple if you have Lumi. So I'm not really sure if the elemental skill or the elemental burst, but they kind of do a cone-like range of effect in which they release three Beyblade looking things that damage their opponents for anyone that's in the path. So it continues forward, it doesn't just stop at one person. If a lot of people are there, or a lot of um, enemies are there, they're all going to be damaged by it. I feel like that's a really cool edit by Mihoya there. I really have high hopes for them. If you guys don't know, a new artifact set dropped alongside, or will drop alongside the update that include a pretty cool severed se fate severed fate i think it's severed fate set in which it includes an energy recharge plus 20 percent for a two piece and for a four piece it has a 75 percent maximum damage bonus to your elemental burst this scales off of your energy recharge obviously with this it kind of goes crazy with whoever character you have because they're already going to receive plus 20% from the energy recharge bonus. Um, characters that this might work with, other than, you know, characters that are going to be coming out or still not out yet, um, Mona. Mona could benefit from this a lot, I feel like. Um, just having the energy recharge allows her to pop this really fast and the energy recharge thing is already in her kit, it's in her talents, and I feel like this is gonna be really good for Mona, and it will increase her hydro damage alongside it, it'd be pretty cool, kinda, kinda wanna see what that does, or what happens with that, but yeah, I have high hopes for Traveler, um, I really do hope, you know, they don't do Electro bad, and they make Traveler cool, obviously I saw the whole Beyblade thing, and I'm kinda really underwhelmed by that, but it does look cool, it does look cool, and that's kinda what, what is important, but I really hope it's also viable for the sense that people run Electro Traveler on their team compositions. Uh, I kind of want to run Traveler run, I like again. Um, in the past, I did main Lumine. I had Lumine as my DPS character for the longest time. And obviously back then, I didn't know how to build characters. Not as well as I do now, at least. And I hopefully it does do better in every way, shape, and form in terms of damage, you know, support, sub DPS, whatever it may be, hopefully it does better, and I cannot wait to see what happens with it. Um, in a sense that this character, Traveler, you know, they're going to have all elements at the very end of it. And I want this element to be good, because this element is kind of going to decide how the other elements are sort of gonna go. Obviously, the whole Pyro and Cryo thing going on, those travelers are gonna be really really good i can say that from now no matter what just because melt is super strong especially because you know you could you can also have vaporize if hydro is gonna be pretty good on traveler too they just place them on sub dps allow their burst to be stay you know just stay on the field if you leave that's it um and i cannot wait to see them honestly i cannot wait to see how they perform and you know just do a comparison between some of those characters Characters like Kitchen need a buff, and I kind of hope this patch does something to patch that up. They try to do the elemental mastery thing, so I'm put, I wouldn't put it past them to do it just solely for Electro. And I <sighs> all right, so all in all, I'm really excited for Inazuma, and I hope you guys are as well. There's a lot to uncover, a lot to see. I'm gonna try my best to just re-watch the trailer a bunch of times to kind of see some things that I can uncover. Maybe theory craft with you guys for the first time. And also, also thank you guys so much for uh, subscribing to the channel and supporting the channel. And 
you know liking my videos recently i really do appreciate that thank you so much for the support uh thank you guys so much for doing that for me if you guys could and if you did enjoy this video please consider liking this video subscribing to the channel it makes a lot of difference for me and just a little bit of a difference for you thank you guys so much for watching this video hope you guys enjoyed if you did consider liking the video see you guys in the next one goodbye